As night turns to dawn, Mary and Dad stumble upon little Sasquatch and learn of Ben's heroic fate as the slayer of the evil wither. Only then does Dave realize the full impact of Splice's warning. Sadness turns to a small measure of joy when they return to the mothership and are met by their ever faithful pet companions. Fearing the worst is not yet over, our heroes gather what they can and head back to the cave Splice urged them to take refuge in some days before. What terrible fate has befallen Splice? Has the betrayal of an evil master been uncovered, or was the wither dispatched unknowingly upon its victims? And finally, we must consider the fate of brave and noble Ben. The memory cop known as Norris claimed him along with the Wither in exchange for granting him the wish of contacting the outside world and warning that Mary and Dad are still alive. But who has Ben contacted? Will they heed his message or ignore it? Only time will tell. Dad, what time is it? It's so hard to tell. Mary, it's five minutes after the last time you asked me. <sighs> Dad. What now, Mary? I almost there. Yes, we're almost there. Now, hold on. I think I see the... Oh, it's a pumpkin. It's like a splice convention over here. Oh, there it is, Mary. Look, the pillar. All right, we're close. Mary, what do you think's up with Sass? She hardly has said a word since we, since we found her. Hmm. I think she's all upset about Ben disappearing and all. I can't believe he's gone. We need to cheer her up. Sass, this pillar over here. <laughs> Sass, this pillar is insane. Look at this. <laughs> oh my. I did that. I see. Really? That's a shock. Wait a minute, Mary. Where is the... Oh, it's this way. Where's the sun? Oh, good. It's it's hardly even... Okay, guys, let's scout the area now. Sass, this is where we talk to Splice. Check this out. Oh, I remember that. That was creepy. I know. It is creepy. <gasps> it's a chest! What? Pops, look! What is a chest doing here? Oh. What's in it? A book and quill. Somebody look at it. Here, I'll look at it. What's it say, Mary? It's too dangerous for me to talk, but deep within this cave you will find something that will help you. Sorry, I have to go... And then you, it stops. Wait, I have to what? Goo. Goo. And then it stops. Well, let me see that book, Mary. What is that <laughs> ominous noise? Give me the book, Mary. There. I gave it to ch you. Chop you. Um, it's too dangerous for me to talk, but deep within this cave you will find something that will help you. Sorry, I have to get. Okay. That must be Splice, guys. What do you think? Yeah, that's Splice. All right. Listen, let's... Um, Let's figure out a way to make this place safe to live. I don't want to have to deal with another one of those things. Hold on, oh I see. Oh my goodness! I see some iron. What a strange cave entrance! I know, isn't it? Freaking awesome! Here, no. grab this coal, guys. Let's it's get to work. The coal. Now. Ow! My ankles. Guys, we should build a shelter here. Oh. Hey, I've got some. I've got some cobblestone. Now I brought lots of stuff. Now. Sass, what did you manage to bring? No, some various food items. I need to get some food. Hmm, bread. A potato carrot. Oh, it's also plain. Oh, what about cooked chicken? Wonder if he's watching. I'll take a little bit. 
Everyone else gets to eat meat. If it's digital, it isn't cheating. Sass, your vegetarian lifestyle is so inspiring. I just thought I'd say that. Now, Mary, what did you bring? I brought the planks you told me to get. I can't believe he sent me down here for these stupid planks. What the heck? I mean, we live in a freaking jungle. <sighs> I've got better things to do. What? What the? What the heck? Hmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I need to tell this to Dad. Screw that. I think it's time to make some potions. If Dad wants treasure, he can go and dig up his own planks. Wow, Mary, you're turning in to be a pretty diligent worker. Yep. You know what I did? I had a relaxing day on the farm. Replanting. Piece of cake. What did they do to my bone meal? Oh, there's a creeper down there, guys. We don't want any unnecessary explosions. Trust me. Mary, watch the wolf. Why is my wolf black? Mary, don't blow his cover. I think he's Agent Fish. In an undercover sting. Or maybe not. You know what? We're going to have to put these guys in pens. Okay. By the lava. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, it's lit. Where are you? I'm down here oh, by this lava. Spider. A spider? Yeah, but not where you are. Okay, I'm going to get a crafting table, guys. That dog is dangerously close to that lava. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> ah, don't get near him! Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to make some fencing material. There, safe and sound. Oh, gosh, that scared me. Hold on, we need more than that. All right, Mary? Mary, yes. Mary, Mary. Okay. Now listen, I don't want to have to deal with another one of those things. Here, grab this sass. Grab the book. I don't want to have to deal with another one of those things, whatever it is. What so things? let's get the... Uh, what did you call it, Sass? It was started with a W. What? Oh. The wither. What's a wither? It sounds pretty... Strange, strange beast. It was a big, large creature, and it shot deadly projectiles. Ooh. It was horrible. Deadly projectiles, huh? What are projectiles? Yeah, fiery balls of death. Yeah. Oh. Now that's something Mary's interested in. Okay, let's get let's get the wolves in here. Okay, Mary, you got a wolf? Yep. Alright. Hold on. Get old fish in here. How's it going, Burrito? I I thought we lost you. The adventures of Burrito and Fish. Tonight's episode Vacation Time at the Kennel. Where's the... where? Where's your dog, Mary? Let's get him over here. Alright. Okay, now I'm torching I'm this coming. place. Where am I going? To the kennel. Alright. Baby! Oh. Come here! Yeah, come on! Before we have to... Yeah, okay. Dad, don't scare him! Okay, come on, doggy. Come on, fish. Fish! Come here! Fish. Fish. All right, you know what? I'm going to block up this outside Come exit, on, too. Fish. Wait. Oh, I thought the cat just ran off. Fish, I have food. Oh, okay. All right, so we look pretty safe in here. Do we have a torch in here? It just seems so well lit. Oh, it's right above me. Come here. Why won't you move? Uh, guys, we have... I, I don't want to sound like William Shatner here, but we have a problem. What? Uh, there's a zombie up there. No, oh, my... What? But, you know what? Let me do this. Oh, he's coming down. Oh, come on. There. Now, guys, I'm going to give each of you... Hey, Sass, why don't you cobble up, like, this stairway and make a, a hole in it? So we can... Um... 
Here, grab this cobble. Yep. And we'll make like a, a wall. How did my dog get out of there? Where is he? Oh, you have to park him, Mary. Oh. Yeah, let's go back over here. Hey, baby. Come here. Fish. Oof. Okay, the creeper convention is about to start. You know, this... Go sit by... This might be a safe place to stay. What, Mare? Oh, I was talking to the dogs. How are they doing? They're doing good. I'll torch down here, and you know what? We'll turn this into a proper stair. Although it was pretty close to begin with. Uh, are you using gravel? No, of course not. Oh, sorry. I heard gravel, but that's you standing on gravel. Okay, guys, it's dark out here. Mary. Yes. Where are you going? Oh, I'm um, sorry. Hey, hey, Sass! I know you're grieving and all, but don't box yourself in. Whew. Okay. <laughs> all right, now, oh, how's Bernard doing? He's, he's doing good. Okay. I think he misses Ben, too, though. Yeah. Now, listen, I've got lots of chests, guys, so I'm going to give you each one to put your stuff in, okay? Are you going to look in them? Why, you got little secret items, Mayor? No. <laughs> okay, I guess I won't. All right. Okay, guys, I think we are safe and secure. What, what was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like a chicken. No, I didn't hear it. Well, we got bats galore down here. I think you're going crazy. Hey, did you guys cray, wall cray. off this lava? Walk? I did. Through the lava? Was there lava down here? Yeah. Huh. It looks cool. No, oh, I'm in over here. I'm gonna push you down. Oh my goodness, it's a ravine. Now, whose chest is whose over here? Mine's the one with the iron. Um. Oh. Mine's... Is the one I shouldn't look in? Yeah. Okay. Hey, who's got sign material? You know what? I've got more chests. I'll just dump everything here. All right. Now, if you guys need a workshop, we got some area over here. I don't know. I thought we could maybe put some, like, some furnaces, make some furnaces down here, put another crafting table. Is this you our can, new home? Well, I think we're going to have to stay here a couple days, guys. Because if that wither thing, as you described it, is back and it's out in the sky, it could just attack at any moment. But I think, I think Splice was trying to tell us that we should stay here. We couldn't really understand him in that that contraption he was using. What did he call it, Mary? He called it the Gravcon 6000. What's a Gravcom? Wait a minute, Mary. That's an old... Did You You said Gravcom 6000? Yeah. That's an old Cold War initiative from Redstone Labs. It's highly secret. Is that the place where he used to work? Yeah, Mary. How would he even know that? <gasps> He's a stalker! Well... Mary, if he's a stalker, he's the best stalker we've ever had. He's been helping us, I think. But that... Or maybe he's just planning to kill us. Whoa. You never know. I don't know, Mayor. Don't but trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Is that your advice? That's that's good advice. It's true. All right. Hey, you know what, guys? I've realized I have enough... Dave, you took my iron block. No, I didn't. Yes, it's in your inventory. Oh. And where did the wood go? I had a bunch of wood. Oh, it's right here. I just put it away. Guys, did someone take all my wood? No. You have some wood? Do you want some? Yeah, I need... I need some wood. Here. Over here, Dave. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Whoa, did you hear that? Guys, I brought some uh, glowstone, too, just in case we need it. Hey, this isn't... This isn't gonna turn out too badly. Okay, is everybody set? Yes. What are you working on, Sass? No, nothing. Yes. Okay. We got three furnaces there if you need it. Mary, what do you think about exploring down here? Oh, you know what I need to do, guys? Now I remember why I need the wood. Mary, let's make beds while it's night and we'll sleep. Okay. Here you go. Grab a bed. <sighs> okay, where are Hold you? Hold on. Right here. Just a second, I had a problem with the old bed. Uh, right here, right here's here. a bed. Sass, there's a bed for you. Ah, oh, someone took it. 
Oh, I've got one. Oh, I have one. Two. Okay, guys, where should we sleep? Maybe by the dogs? That sounds like a handy plan. Aww. Here, we'll put our beds down here where it's nice and I'm safe. I'm just going to sleep with them. Oh, really? Yeah, because I'm a good owner, unlike you. Ah! Okay, well, whatever you do, don't... Have don't, oh. don't hit my dog, man. Hey, Sass, what about over here? We can't all fit in there with the dogs. I'm going to get, like, okay. fur all over me. Okay, has everybody got food? Whoa, that's scaring me, man. It's not night yet, apparently. Oh, really? No. Let's see. Yeah, I don't quite feel like going to bed. Me neither. Oh, and you know what? Let's... Oh! 